Okay, let's continue with our snowman. And in this tutorial, I wanted to uh, dress him up a little bit, maybe add some sticks for arms, and um, maybe a hat, make some coal or something. But uh, let's get started. So I want to go ahead and put this snowman on layer one. I'm going to right click layer one. And if you don't have a layer, you can create a new layer by clicking the Create the New Layer button. I already have one. I'm going to click it and say uh, Snowman Layer. And right click and say Add Selected. So if I click the V, he can go away. Uh, I'm going to hide him momentarily. And I'll, we'll bring him back in just a second. But I want to create a branch some arms for him. So let's do that with a uh, cylinder and um, let's see what we can do first with the... we don't need that many subdivisions. It can... I don't know, five or six would be plenty. Uh, the height we do want to stretch it and the radius we want to kind of small. Maybe the height's a little. So I'm trying to get a, a form. And let's go ahead and give it some uh, subdivisions in the height. Just so we can manipulate it later. Uh, to make it not so perfect. So, uh, Alright, I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to place the <clears throat> pivot point at the bottom. So I'm going to uh, jump to the four view and you should guys should be used to this by now home key I held V snap to the bottom all right and I'd like having it at the pivot point at the end so I can you know if I wanted to scale the length it's scaling from the bottom it's not scaling in both directions um, so let's I'm going to do a little bit of component modeling. As the stick gets longer, I want it to gradually get smaller. So I'm going to just select all of these and maybe bring it in a little bit. Bring in some. It doesn't, and this is a stick. It doesn't have to be perfect here. And I'm just going to uh, kind of randomize it a little bit. Um, make parts of it crooked. Um, Let's see. Um, let's scale it in. Maybe I like this. <clears throat> now, what I want to do here, I want to grab these vertices and scale them into one another. Something like that. And I'm going to grab a face here. And I want to show you a tool I don't think we've gone over yet, and that is the extrude tool. Uh, if you go to Mesh, Edit Mesh, it's extrude. But before we do so, you need to make sure you have this keep faces together. If not, uh, we're going. What we're going to do is we're going to create new geometry, and we're going to pull out these new faces. But if there's multiple faces selected, they'll be individual. Um, instead of one. So we make sure to keep faces together and we just hit the extrude and I'm just gonna reset and apply go with the defaults. And you get an interesting manipulator here. <clears throat> uh, this tutorial is not about the extrude tool so I'm not going to go in depth but uh, basically right when you click it if you pull out uh, it has an axis that doesn't match the XYZ axis anymore. It, it's set up with the normal of the faces. And it's the last face selected, which is perpendicular to that face. So if I pull out, it's pulling out perpendicular to this face and perpendicular to that face. And uh, so it's kind of perpendicular to the face mode or normal mode. But I want to click this little toggle here. And now it aligns with the axis. So if I want to pull out, or up uh, and I can still kind of scale in so 
So I'm trying to create a, a little branch. And then I can hit the G key, which is a repeat. And since the last thing I did was to scale or uh, to extrude, I hit G. It's going to allow me to extrude again. Um, I'm just going to break that off. So, and I might take these vertices in, just scale them together somewhat, and maybe take this up some. You know, it, on a stick, you can't mess up too much, to be honest. So, uh, <laughs> just have fun with it. Um, and you can, you can use the extrude and put in some more interest, but... Uh, that's probably good enough for now. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a, a segmented stick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. I'm trying to think about this. If I want just a stick that's one piece or I want multiple pieces parented to each other. Um, Let's, let's, let's see what that looks like. I, I may go back, but I want to duplicate this Apple D or Control D and pull this up, angle it. Actually, I'll just keep it straight and I'm just going to scale it down. And the reason I'm doing this uh, later on, we're going to animate our stick. I'm gonna, and uh, we'll animate him waving. So I think maybe having the stick offset just like a, a branch or something from the side. But it's actually a separate object. And, uh, and maybe if we do that, I don't really need this. That, this is going to be kind of like a, a little thumb or something. But we can, we can leave it there for interest, but it's... And then maybe uh, extend this a little bit more. And then parent this, let's click this one, shift click, P, and so now when we move this object, actually before we do that, this one's a little long still, so. I'm going to rotate this some. Um, I don't like how this is coming off at the same side so let's have something like that so it's coming off yeah that's that seems better um still looks a little long for a um an arm of a snowman so we can parent this click shift click p and then we can scale the whole thing down and maybe thin it up. All right, and then we can still rotate this uh, and keyframe. Whoa! All right, see how this gets longer. That's we don't like that. Um, hmm. What we have is we have a double rotation. Uh, so what we may have to do is it's. Unparent this, shift P, no. What is it just? I thought it was shift P to unparent. No. Shift P here. Yeah, see that? That's staying the same length. Let's go ahead and edit, delete by type history, and edit, and I'm going to hit G. And you notice these. this is the history. Any edits we make, uh, uh, we're going to hit that. It's going to delete that. And then I'm going to zero out all of this information here. The scale has been changed to rotate. And the way you do that is you go to uh, modify and reset transformations. It's going to take. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we want. Let's try delete by type history first and then. All right, not reset, sorry, freeze transformations, and that's going to take that back 
to zero. Same thing for that, hit G. And now I want to parent this and see if we're getting any double rotation. Alright, so that's fine. Alright, that seemed to fix it. Before, as we were rotating like that, the 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 stick was getting longer, which is double translation, double rotation. So you may not understand what I'm talking about. That's okay. I don't fully understand it. But the way you fix it is uh, unparent your object and you want to clear out these values. You want to delete any history. So to clear out the values first, you go to freeze transformations. That's going to take them all to zero and scale of one. And then uh, you go to edit and delete by type history. Between those two things, you want to do that before you parent the second. Um, stick in there. Alright, uh, I've been kind of long on the stick. I didn't plan to be so long on this uh, tutorial so I'm going to stop here and then the next tutorial will add the limb uh, to the snowman.